Hello, Arsenal 4, Leicester City 2. Um, what performance from Arsenal? We're here with uh, Wire Football. Um, what do you make of the performance, mate? Well, I want to say, first of all, bro, six points out of six. What more can we say? That's exactly what we needed. We started last season horribly, but this season on the right foot, and it started with the transfers, man. Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus, we bought them in early, got our business done early, and it showed brilliant starts of the season. Uh, yeah, obviously, as you said, the signings have definitely proven themselves. Um, I want to talk to you about Gabriel Jesus. I mean, the guys were smoking. Two very good goals today. Um, obviously, um, do, do, how, how would you see him doing this season? Do you think he's going to get over uh, 15 goals this season? I think with Jesus, right, at Man City, he's he came in obviously from the Brazilian league, so there wasn't much about him. He's had that Pep Guardiola tacticianed into him, that type of imprint. He's been under Guardiola for three, four seasons now. And you can tell because the way he moves with the ball, without the ball, link up play, he's bringing others into it. He's getting himself in the right positions. That's a player that's grown into himself and he's entering his prime now. I honestly think if he stays fit and plays all the Premier League games, he can get 20 this season. I honestly think he can get 20 in the Premier this season. And I think we are going to need him because I think if he gets injured, that's the one position I'm worried because Enketi did well last season to end. But I think playing the whole season with Enketia or the majority of it with Enketia, it does worry me because I think he's a level above and we need that level above with Jesus. Yeah, man, I just didn't agree. And um, I want, another guy I want to talk about is scored at own goal today, uh, William Saliba. But yeah. I thought, apart from the own goal, I thought uh, once again it was a good performance from him. Um, what's your thoughts on William Saliba? Well, I'm, I'm a massive fan of him, man. I, I, we signed him, what, in 2019, I want to say? I've been yeah. asking us, why don't play him? We've got Fafana. Obviously, didn't have a great game today, but he partnered Saliba at St Etienne. He was getting minutes last season. Okay, forget his injury, but he was for all starting for Leicester without that. We finally brought him in, and he looked astute, and he looked confident. Obviously, he can see the own goal today. It's unfortunate. It's with age. It happens to everyone. I mean, we've had centre-backs like... Vidic, Terry, Sol Campbell scoring goals in their careers. Just one of those things. I think the big thing for him, though, is the support network. You can see the own goal. And who was first to him? Ramsdale told him, keep your chin up, bro. Get at it. And that's that's big from Ramsdale because I saw in the All or Nothing documentary, the geezer hates to concede, man. He throws a fit yep. whenever we concede. But as soon as Sleeper scored an goal, he was right to him saying, look, you've defended well. Keep your head up, man. We go again. There's still a game to play here. And I thought that was brilliant from him. If our support network at the club is good, it isn't anything because he defended well apart from that. Yeah, man, I just don't agree. And uh, I want to ask you about the man of the match today. Uh, personally, I'll go first. I think it, I'm going to give it Granit Xhaka. That is one yeah. of the best performances I've seen him play in an Arsenal shirt. I mean, the guy, I couldn't believe how he's gone forward so, uh, so many times, you know, getting in the box and in the end got, got himself a goal. I remember he hit the post in the first half. What are your thoughts on Granit Xhaka? Well, I agree, man. I said, well, in my match reaction, I gave it a free way between Xhaka, Martinelli and Jesus. Yeah, I same. thought the three of them were yeah. absolutely brilliant, man. Mm -hmm. Granit Xhaka, you know what it is? Arteta's clocked it now. He's got Zinchenko coming in. And of course, Zinchenko, left back for City, centre mid for Ukraine. When Xhaka goes forward, Zinchenko becomes like another midfielder to slot in. Yeah. So it gives Xhaka that licence to go up the pitch. I've always thought Xhaka's a decent footballer. The problem is he's rash. You're going to get a mistake out of him. So if we keep him as far away as possible from our penalty box, yeah. that's what we need to do, man. Because I'd rather make a mistake in their penalty box than in our penalty box. And I think those last minute runs into the box, there was also a time when he was free down the middle. I mean, I would rather it be Martinelli because he didn't have enough pace to keep up with the ball. But they're not expecting the defenders because they're marking Martinelli, Saka, Jesus, Odegaard. you got Xhaka making last minute runs, throws another thing into the equation. I think it's a really good play uh, by Xhaka and a really good play by Arteta, the way he's using him to full effect. Yeah, man. Obviously, uh, upcoming games, three next games, we've got Bournemouth, Fulham, Aston Villa. I, on paper, we should be getting uh, three wins. I don't know about you, mate. Are you confident going to some games now? Yeah, yeah, 100% agree. I thought our first game against Crystal Palace, that was a tough one. Yeah. We've got Bournemouth away next week. I mean, for us, I know it's cliche, but honestly, one game at a time, man. If you try and look at saying uh, we've got our next five games looking good, our next 10 games looking good, I think the players start to break down and not quite at that mentally. I think we just need to save them one game at a time. We know it's the start of the season, but just approach one game as it is. On paper, Bournemouth next week, it should be a decent looking game. I know they won their first game, but they got beaten by City today. I think then Fulham should be another doable game, especially at home. Aston Villa as well, I believe we've got coming up maybe. And then the big one for me is Man United away. I think if we get into the Man United away winning all our matches, I'm really confident going into that game at Old Trafford. But yeah, one game at a time. Let's keep our players fit. 
I would have liked us make the subs a little bit earlier today, to be honest, and maybe use all five subs. So I want to yeah. say we're going to use four today. I'd want to see, look, even if it is bringing on Lokonga or something for Xhaka or Partey, just, you never know. You don't want them to get injured in the last five, ten minutes. And it is a very hot day today. And the final thing before we wrap it up, I want to ask you, um, who do you want to sign in the transfer window? Of course, we've uh, linked with players today. Yuri Timmons, who played for Leicester City. Um, and then obviously we'll link with a few other players as well. But who, who would be your ideal signings for the end of this window? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good question, man. I think, to be honest, I think we need a winger and a centre mid. Because I think if if Saka gets injured, look, we've got Smith Rowe to cover, but then who else is it? Marquinhos, is he ready? Not really. Is Nelson ready? Not really for me. Pepe, I've never been a fan of. I'd want us to sign one of either Tielemans or Ismaili Saar from Watford. One of those two, I think, would be a really good option, just for some more depth. Because I think centre mid, both wing and centre mid would be perfect, but I've kind of given up the fact we're not probably not going to sign both with so little left. But I think centre mid or winger, if we just won those two positions, I'll be happy. So, there we go, guys, very good win from Arsenal. Two wins in two, um, second in the league table. And, uh, yeah, we're looking very good. Thank you so much, White Football, for coming on, mate. Always welcome. Appreciate it, man. And make sure everyone goes subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure everyone goes subscribe to him right now. Um, how many subscribers are you on? 800, isn't it? Almost coming out to 800. Yeah, eight, about 860. Yeah, he's doing well. So, make, guys, make sure you all go drop in a sub and also like this video. Come on, you guys. What performance?